Hey there friends, how's it going? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and I have a lesson today to teach you how to play the song Lola by the Kinks, the absolutely classic song from 1970. I love playing this one. Now, I have a previous lesson where I teach you this cool acoustic intro to the song. Right? start playing it you have to finish so in this lesson instead of teaching you that I'm gonna teach you the intro the verse the chorus the bridge and the lead guitar fill those are all things I didn't really teach you in my previous lesson but between this lesson and between the other lesson you got it all covered and I do have this four page sheet music available it teaches you everything it teaches you um, all the lyrics and everything are on page one with some chord cheat sheet stuff on page two I get into the chord shapes the chord progressions the strumming patterns page three I break down that acoustic intro that I covered in my other lesson and on page four, I talk about the lead guitar fill that you do at the end of each chorus. So enough of that. Let's learn this song now, Lola by the Kinks, and uh, we'll be in good shape. All right, y'all, so let's kick this one off, jumping right into the intro to this song. So the chords we're going to need for the intro are a C, a D, and an E. It's pretty rare you have three major chords that are all a whole step apart, but here we are, right? Now, for the C, um, you can use a common voicing if you want, the regular open voicing. I think that the way they actually play it though is with this added G bass note, which means the third fret on the low E string, right? It allows you to play all six strings, which is nice. You don't need to worry about only playing the thinnest five. Um, it does require though you to get used to, instead of your ring finger being on the fifth string, you have to teach your ring finger to go to the sixth string and then bring your pinky finger in. So if you're just getting started and you know C, just use that, right? Only when you're comfortable with things do I recommend really going in for this full six string C. Then you'll need a D and an E, right? Regular open chords here. Now the intro, um, I show you two things here. One is the sort of strumming and then the other is the sort of timing of things, right? We're gonna be on C for about a measure and a half, right? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then we're on D for just three eighth notes, a little less than a half measure. Um, I'll talk about that with the strumming. And then we're on E for two full measures. So let's look at the strumming we have mapped out here. We're basically on the C, we're gonna do a down, 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 up, down, up. And then your next down strum's not gonna touch anything. You switch to the D, up, down, up, down on the E, okay? So one. it it would sound like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two okay and after you do that full down strum of the E we're gonna do this sort of quick pluck, uh, plucking of the thinnest three strings and we're gonna do this the thinnest string second string third string and repeat that three times and then end on this sort of high E string before you sort of chill out for a couple eighth notes and then second and third string. If this gives you trouble, don't really worry about it. I would say strum the E and then you can just freely pluck. The point is though, you want to stop your heavy strumming. You want to kind of let the E, it's like jumping off a cliff with a paraglider. It's just gliding. Let it, give it some flavor, but don't feel like you have to keep strumming, okay? You want to let it chill because you're about to start singing, okay? So that intro one more time. Okay, that's how you're gonna do the intro. Now, let's move on to the verse next. The verse is going to be the part where I met her in the club, and in the Soho, where she drank champagne, etc. So it's a, a couple more uh, little progressions we have to memorize here, but fortunately it's not that bad. We're always gonna start on E, okay? We're gonna start on E, stay on E for two measures, right? I met her in the club, and in the Soho. And then we're gonna always gonna go to A next, where they drink champagne. Now on the first line, you're gonna go from this A to a D for one measure. Tastes just like cherry. And then back to the E. Cola. E again, then to A. And when we go to A for the second line, we stay on A. And if you want, you can add an A sus4. Okay, just by putting your pinky down on the second um, string, third fret, right? Okay, so the first two lines of the song. I met her in the club down in the Soho where you drink champagne and it tastes just like Coca-Cola, C-O-L-A-Cola. Okay, that's the 
practice the A sus4, sort of go into it and then let go of it, right? Now, as far as strumming, let's talk about strumming. Here's what I use for just about the entire song. The only time this changes is in the bridge. It's going to be a down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. I want to call out here that the three count is getting a much stronger, fuller, more emphasized, accented strum. Whereas on the one and the two count, you just kind of want, I just do like a light strum of the thickest couple notes, right? One, two, three, four, five, four and I'm going to do a down up and I'll usually favor the thinner strings on that one so one two three four and 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 right I went to at a club down in our Soho where you drink champagne and it tastes just like Okay, so that's the strumming we're going to use. Now the second half of the verse, it starts the exact same way. E, two, three, four, to E again, then to A, then to D, then you repeat that line. La, lo, la, lo, la, A, then to D, and after that, after we play that line the second time, we're going to use the whole intro again. La, 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 lo, la. on E for four measures there, okay? Now there is this. Um, this little riff, I'm gonna teach that a little bit later because that's a bit more complicated. And if you just want an easy strumming version, I'm gonna stick on, on course for that now, right? So um, again, with that verse, just memorize that sort of E for two measures. Then you go to A, sometimes you go to D. Other times you stay on A um, and it ends with that intro. And you can just stay on the E for the, the two or three measures if you don't want to do the, which again, which I'll teach a little bit later, okay? So that's how you're going to do the verse of this song. Now the chorus, we're going to need some different chords here. We're going to need a B. Okay, I'm doing the sort of two, four, 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 right? This barred version of B. You either have to do this or you have to do a B up here, seven, nine, nine, eight, seven, seven. Or you can just do the thickest four strings, seven, nine, nine, eight. But I'm gonna do this B right here. Okay, it's a tricky chord to do. Basically, barring these um, three strings, third, second, third, and fourth string with my ring finger. Right, I've seen folks play it with their pinky though. I think maybe I don't do that though. I do ring finger, and then I use my left uh, index up here. I don't really play, try to make the thinnest strings sound out because that's a bit tougher. You have to bend your ring finger. So it's two, four, four, four. That's your version of B. Then you'll need an F sharp. Second, fourth, fourth, third, second, second. The good thing about this B and this F sharp is they're they're all on the sort of second to fourth fret region of the guitar. So you don't have to necessarily jump on the frets. You're kind of your index finger is already where it needs to be on the second fret. Okay? So practice this transition. That's gonna be your uh, B and your F sharp. Then we're also gonna need an A and an A minor. Okay? Now you could just play the regular open A and an open A minor. But if you want to, of course, you can do the barred A up here, five, seven, seven, six, five, five. And the A minor, which is five, seven, seven, five, five, five. I pretend, or I prefer to do the, the version over here. Now, we're gonna do B for two measures, right? So B, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, F sharp, three, four, F sharp. Then two A for two measures, and then A minor for two measures. And the words would be, well, we drank champagne and danced all night under electric candlelight. She picked me up and sat me on her knee and said, little boy, won't you come home with me? Okay, I'm using the same strumming, right? This down, down, down.
back to the verse and we use what I already taught you there. Okay, so after the verse, the only new part of this song we're going to need is the bridge, right? This is a, the part where it's going, uh, Will I push to the way? I fell to the floor. I got down on my knees. Well, I lifted her and she hit me. Okay, so a couple new chords here as well. C sharp minor is one of them. Okay, this is four, six, six, five, four. four. Or if you want to mute the thinnest string, that's fine too. I tend to do that. I just play the middle four strings. That's your C sharp minor. We need a B, which we already know from the from the chorus. And then we're gonna use an A, which we already know. Now we do need a G sharp minor as well, right? Four, six, six, four, four, four. This is basically just like F sharp minor, but just two frets higher, okay? You're only gonna need that one. So this part's a bit tricky. Now the rhythm here is, gets really tricky as well. So basically we're gonna be on the first two chords for three eighth notes each, right? which is tricky. So it's going to, if you look at this, the way it's written out here, I have the, the circle, the, the highlighted notes in gray, where you make the changes, right? Um, a, C sharp minor to B. Da, 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 da. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, So I was adding the strum in there as well. And you could alternatively just do a down strum on the one count, the and count after the two, and then the four count. You could do it like this. That would be So what I'm doing there is a single strum on the A, up to you. You can either use that all down strums, or if you want to keep your hand moving in constant up and down fashion, that's when you want to use what I have tabbed out here or written out here, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so that's a tricky little part there, but if you want to keep it really simple, just do a single strum on the A, the C sharp minor, and then the B, and then add some light filler strums at the end of the B, right? So to play the bridge, to play it in full. I pushed her away. I walked to the floor. I fell to the floor. I got down on my knees. Then resume normal strumming on the B. I lifted her and she hit me. And that's the way that I want it to stay. Okay, so that's all we're gonna need uh, for the bridge. And with the bridge and the chorus and the verse and the intro, you have the entire song. Now you would wanna follow along. I have, again, my sheet music has all the lyrics for the entire song written out super carefully. This is all done by me with absolute care. Listen to the version of the song like 10 times to make sure everything is correct and perfect and every, everything. But this will give you the lyrics and all the chord changes. But again, it's just those three sections. Now there's two more things I wanna talk about. Really quick, this sort of like intro and verse instrumental. Um.
I have a whole separate lesson just teaching that. I have that on page three of my sheet music, right? All six parts are tabbed out for you. Um, you can technically play that over the verse if you want, or you can just do uh, an acoustic version of that. And again, that's inspired by Mike Massey's cover of this song, which is on YouTube. It's a really, really good cover. I recommend checking that out. And I think he got it from the, uh, the kinks themselves. So um, that's in a separate video. If you want to play that, check out my, my go to my website, playsongnotes.com, lesson 165. We'll have that for you. The last thing I want to talk about, though, is this little riff. I'm sort of doing an acoustic version here. That's a bit, it's a bit different than what's played on the electric guitar in a few small ways. But let's talk about it and dive on in. And I'll tell you what they're playing on the electric. I just can't do it on my guitar because uh, it involves a really wicked string bend that I can't do. So the, the tab looks like this, and this is basically, um, again, this is the sort of modified version a little bit. It's simplified. Now, it starts off, basically, we're going from a, the intro, C, D, and then we're on E for like four measures. That's when this is happening, right? Four measures of E. Now, what they're doing here is, the first part is, okay, low E string. Very nice and easy. Then we're gonna bar the ninth fret with our index finger up here. Okay, of third and fourth string. And a really quick note here, and I have this on my sheet music here, I recommend thinking in terms of this chord, right? Open, 11, nine, nine, nine. Technically, this is an E major, okay? It's coming from, it's kind of a combination of this voicing, right, this A voicing, A-shaped bar chord. 7999. So if we take the 999 and then we add this note, okay, which is G sharp. So it's the third um, third tone in the E major chord. But we want to have a an E bass note. So the point is that all the riff you're going to be doing Sort of coming from this hand position and if you look at the fretboard diagram I have here you can look at this sort of um, mapping of the pentatonic scale right right that's the E major pentatonic scale if you kind of think in terms of that scale position everything in this rip you're about to play is going to be a little bit easier okay so keep that in mind now again back to the tab I sort of am barring here now this second part here, I do a, okay, slide from 13 to 11. The thing is though, the way they're playing it is he's bending this note. I can hardly even, I, I'm not really a bend master, but basically I'm not trying to do that on my acoustic guitar. So I just play the 13th fret as it is. And then the way I like to do it is slide down Slide down with your ring finger. So 13, slide to 11, and then 9. Okay? And then you're just going to go 11, 9, 11, 9. And then this 12th fret down here. Now, I have trouble. I don't know if it's the way I hold my guitar when I'm filming especially, but getting to this 12th fret note with my pinky is super hard. What you can do is do a... You can slide from 9 to 7 and then slide from nine to 11. So it's kind of a cheap way, like it, I don't wanna say cheap, but it's kind of like a little bit of a cheat or a hack where, where you're only kind of, you're using your ring and your ring and index finger for everything, okay? So that's what you're gonna use for the, uh, that little second riff there. Slide down, 13 to 11, nine, fourth string, 11 to nine, fifth string, 11 to nine, and then either your pinky on 12 or your ring, ring finger on 12, or you can go down to seventh fret of the fifth string, and then you wanna end up either hammer on from nine to 11 or slide up from nine to 11, okay? Now, the last part is right? Whether you slide or you hammer on, it's up to you. This is the slide or you could hammer on. If you do that, see how my ring finger is just sort of staying parked here on the ninth fret? That's nice and efficient, which is good. I'm not a, the greatest lead guitar player by any means, so um, use this as a starting point. Um, and the, that last measure and a half, you could just strum. And I say when I say that, I mean...
Well, she joked the campaign. You know, you don't have to do that last part. It's up to you, okay? So that's basically how you're gonna do the lead riff, and I hope that is helpful for you for making that work. All right, and here's a quick playthrough of each section just to show you how it all sounds when you put it together. All right, let's do it. Hello, Ellie, hello. 